Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of April 11th through the 17th. What we have coming up for you on Monday, Libra, is we have the Three of Coins. This is telling me that you are working together with somebody collaboratively on a project. This can be a project at work. This can be a project that has to do with a hobby or something around the house. This can be working together with somebody on maybe a surprise party for somebody's anniversary or really anything but collaborative work, work where you're working together with somebody else on some kind of project on Monday, Libras. <coughs> Excuse me. Now on Tuesday, what you have coming up is the Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse just tells me that you're looking back at some old times and um, as you look back at those times, you're really trying to learn the lessons that you can learn from the situations that you've been in in the past and also kind of thinking, Glad I'm not in that situation anymore. <laughs> okay, and then on Wednesday, what we have coming up for you, Libras, is we do have the star card in reverse. The star card in reverse, I'm getting a really strong feeling that this is influenced by the Six of Cups in reverse. I think that um, going back over those old memories, um, and maybe even for some of you, I think you may even be seeing some people that were involved in the creation of some of those old memories. And it has you feeling a little bit disoriented on Wednesday and not quite sure of what direction you want to be going. I do feel like though that that's kind of a kind of a temporary thing. This is a major arcana card, so it is generally a process to work through. So I would say maybe two to three days and you'll be feeling back to your normal self. Uh, but you are going to have to kind of work through that um, feeling of being disoriented or off balance for a couple of days. Now on Thursday, Seven of Clubs showing up in reverse. Seven of Clubs in reverse just means that you had a situation with somebody or some people in your life and you pretty much had to lay down the law and say, you know what, I don't mind helping you, but I can't do everything that you want me to do. So this is what I'll do for you. I'll do right out to here, right out to this line. Anything beyond this line is your responsibility or your responsibility to find somebody else to dump that on, but it's not my responsibility and I won't be handling it from now on. Okay, so you've had that talk with somebody, all right? Now, when the Seven of Clubs comes up in reverse on Thursday, um, all the words have already been said, now it's time to walk the walk. So obviously, when you have to have a conversation with us like, like this with somebody, that person isn't gonna be thrilled that their go-to person um, is suddenly not as easy of a go-to person and they're gonna test that. So you can pretty much count on that. They're going to try to get you to do all the things that you said you weren't going to do. They're going to act like they didn't hear a word that came out of your mouth, most likely. So this is time to walk the walk. So now this is, um, the testing is here. And if you don't want to continue to be run over as you were before, then now it's time to stand up and walk the walk. So say that you said to somebody, I can give you rides to this place, that place, the other place any time during the week except for on this day. On this day, I'm doing, I'm taking art classes or something. I don't know. Just making things, this up as I go. Uh, but taking art classes. And so I won't be able to take you there because I'm doing something, you know, to care for me, to replenish me during that time. And um, so this person, of course, immediately, the first day you have an art class, they're going to have something that's very pressing that they need to be there and they need a ride. And you're the only ride that they can find. Are you going to go to that art class or are you going to give them a ride? What are you going to do? Because this is them testing you. If you don't want them to keep running over you, you're going to have to walk the walk. You can't, it's not good enough just to talk the talk. Okay. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying about that with that example. It's just an example. I don't think most of you are taking art classes, <laughs> but it gives you an idea of what you might have to deal with since you've laid down those boundaries now to keep those boundaries in force or in play. All right, so Friday, <clears throat> the card that you guys have coming up is the High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse means you're ignoring some things. You guys are not the first sign to get this this week too. High Priestess in Reverse means you're ignoring some things. So this can be that you're getting some red flags on a relationship or a situation and you're just sweeping those red flags under the carpet, not paying any attention to them, not trying to resolve any issues that they might be indicating, just pretending you didn't see them. After a while, that carpet gets so high that, you know, 
when you're walking on the carpet, you're really your feet are about the same height as the seats on the chairs at the dining room table. <laughs> um, the problem is that it's not just red flags. For some of you, this is coming in. Some of the green flags are sweeping under the carpet. So where some of you don't want to face the bad stuff, so you're pretending you don't see those red flags, sweeping them under the carpet. Some of you have a really pessimistic view of how a some certain situation in your life is going to turn out. And so when you see the green flags that are good and positive, you're acting like you didn't see those. You're sweeping them under the carpet and you're holding on to that pessimism, that negative thinking. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> Either one of you, don't be sweeping those flags under the carpet, especially if you've got green flags, don't sweep them under the carpet. But even those of you with red flags, life is so much more simple if we can stay in the now, pay attention to the flags that we're getting, and act appropriately. That keeps things much more simple than if we sweep them under the carpet and come to them later on. Now you've got layers and layers and layers of stuff that's happened since then and you have to sort through it all. Deal with it now, whether it's good or bad. Deal with it now is my advice. All right, let's move on to Saturday. Ten of Clubs showing up in reverse. Ten of Clubs in reverse is telling me that there's some kind of responsibility that you would normally be taking care of on Saturday that you're not doing. So for some of you, this could be that you normally do standby for work on Saturday. You're not doing standby. Um, for others of you, this could be maybe you normally take your parents grocery shopping on Saturday and for whatever reason they say, oh, we don't really need to go grocery shopping. We're well stocked. I can just hear some of you saying that would never happen. <laughs> but it's just an example. There's some kind of responsibility that normally would be yours on Saturday that you're not doing for whatever reason. I have had it where people have just forgotten, uh, but I've also had it where um, people have not had to do this because whatever they normally do, um, any other parties involved would not be in town. Maybe they went out on vacation, like if the, say that you take your kid to uh, violin lessons and the violin teacher goes on vacation, well then you don't have to take your kid to violin lessons. There's that responsibility that you're not doing. Um, so it can be really anything. But just it's a responsibility you would normally do that you're not doing. Now, Sunday. Six of clubs showing up in reverse. <coughs> I'm getting a little different read on this than I normally do. Excuse me for the coughing. Um, six of clubs in reverse for Libra on Sunday. There is a project that you've been working on that you really feel like benefits not only yourself, but also other people in your environment, whether that environment is work or home or neighborhood, whatever it is. Um, but I feel like your intentions with this project are misunderstood. And so when people first get a glimpse of this completed project, whatever it is, I feel like there's going to be some negative backlash coming at you. And I feel like it's completely unexpected. I feel like it's going to just kind of hit you out of the blue like you never even dreamed somebody would have this reaction to what you've been doing. It's just basically completely the opposite of what you were expecting. Okay, so now you're prepared. <laughs> you've got the heads up. So thank you so much, Libra, for stopping by, for watching, for hanging out, for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everybody have a fantastic week, and I will see you all back here the next time around. Peace out.